weekly internet show, the Atheist Experience has run for over a decade, and generally sees the host debate with various callers over different religious matters. However, during a seemingly regular, if not slightly intense call in 2014, there was a sudden bizarre and downright chilling moment live on air. That's just a silly argument. I mean, I understand. I that agree with you. <laughs> I'm just trying to get at why it's a silly argument. Well, I understand that that statement was originally said by Carl Sagan, but who really cares about you know them requiring extraordinary claims and evidence? So then you should believe I rose from the dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I terrified her with my awesome logic. Uh, apparently. <laughs> As heard, while the host argue with the caller, she abruptly lets out a blood-curdling scream, and before we can hear any more, they disconnect the call. Disturbingly, the screams sound uncomfortably real, as though the woman was actually attacked. In fact, many viewers were so convinced the call was genuine, that they asked the show to track down the woman's address. Others though aren't so convinced, and contend the scream was merely a sound effect, Still, is it possible the woman was literally murdered on air? Okay. A reality series is one of the last places you'd expect to find credible proof of life after death. However, one Big Brother contestant allegedly heard the voice of her dead sister. Cida? Cida? Aonde? 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 Still, the mystery seems over when a fellow contestant claims responsibility. Yet things get even eerier when she secretly reveals it wasn't her. Cida? Oh! Vem cá. É você que está chamando? É. Ai, que susto! Ai, ficou me esquenta me chamando que eu chamei. Ai, eu chamei. Ela, 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 ui. Ai, que bom. Você que estava me chamando? Eu era. Eu não era. Ai, ela, ai, ela. Ai, que estranho, porque eu confundi sua voz com a voz da minha irmã. Parecia que era a minha irmã que estava me chamando. Now, this is all creepy enough on its own, but what made the scenario truly bizarre was that around the time Cedar heard her sister's voice, she'd actually died a few minutes prior. So, have you heard her? 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 In the previous look at mysterious videos, I covered a plane supposedly frozen in the air. To some, this was evidence of the simulation theory, while to skeptics, it was just the wind. However, either way, these so-called glitches in the matrix not only affect aircraft, but also apparently birds. Now, admittedly, most of these videos are easily explained as normal hunting behaviour, yet what if the bird was dead, and still somehow floating? What is it? What is it? Can you see it? What the hell is that? According to one onlooker, Nino Atsubrak-Kujan, he watched it for at least two minutes, but saw no movement whatsoever. Unsurprisingly, the strange video has itself led to stranger theories. The common consensus is that it's proof of the aforementioned artificial reality, but alternative bizarre ideas claim it's a government drone, or even a broken alien device. Leave your own theories in the comments. What the hell is that? If you've spent any time in conspiracy circles, 
you've likely heard of the chemtrail theory. The idea is that many contrails are actually filled with undisclosed chemical substances. These chemtrails then slowly poison the atmosphere with the overall purpose of human population control. However, an additional and downright bizarre theory posits that said chemicals are released via cloaked government planes. Now, obviously this sounds ridiculous, but believers have offered up some weird videos. Incredibly, on July 17th, 2019, Skywatcher Eye of the Beholder filmed this unexplained anomaly in Bucharest, Romania. Still, you might say this was just an optical illusion, yet two days before this video was released, amateur researcher Linda Miller captured another one of these plants. So, could the impossible be true, and the government actually use invisible planes? Hidden in the remote Monitor Valley of Nevada, lies the boiling hot spring Deanne's Punchbowl. Such extraordinary heat has led to the alternative name, Devil's Cauldron, but could there be an additional and darker reason for this? One person who may have stumbled upon the answer is the channel Texrax. For years, they've tested the durability of multiple pieces of technology via different extreme situations. As such, the boiling cauldron was a perfect place to test the survival capabilities of the iPhone 11. Okay guys, so check it out. We're gonna slowly but surely dip it straight in the water. Still, the experiment seems like a flop with Texrax's first test. However, the second time Texrax drops the phone, he captures something truly chilling. Texrax himself is at a loss to explain the screams, but this hasn't stopped his viewers from claiming the cauldron is actually a portal to hell. Now obviously this theory is speculative at best, but there's no doubt the sounds are unusual. So what's really the answer? Be sure to let me know. In the world of UFO research, some self-proclaimed hunters often analyse live NASA feeds for proof. Unfortunately, for the most part, they're left with blurry pictures of normal space phenomena. However, every now and then, the cameras pick up something that shouldn't be there. The most recent example of this was on February 19th, 2020, when UFOlogists spotted this bizarre object. Incredibly, based on its size compared to that of the nearby planets, the UFO appears to be massive on an unprecedented scale. Still, despite such inspired speculation, NASA claims the artifact anomaly is actually an internal reflection of Venus. Intriguingly though, researchers have noted the UFO's similarity to Ezekiel's wheel, long suspected to be proof of the ancient alien theory. For those unaware, the Bible claims the prophet was visited by a flying chariot, 
yet others believe it was a spaceship. No doubt this sounds like blatant pseudoscience, except the idea was surprisingly correlated by NASA Chief Josef Blumrich. So, is the solar anomaly proof that Ezekiel's wheel has returned? Or was it really just a reflection of Venus? If this year didn't feel apocalyptic enough, some believe a dragon has now been filmed in China. In a scene sensationally described as Hell on Earth, a sudden explosion recently hit the Tiexi district of Shenyang. Officially, it was the result of a lightning strike. However, many are convinced it was some type of plasma weapon, and even weirder still, that it had a connection to this flying creature. Mysteriously, concurrent to the explosion, you can clearly see what looks like a dragon silhouette behind the apartments. Covered by multiple cameras, skeptics have claimed it's merely a piece of plastic debris, yet it seems to flap its wings. So, is it possible this anomaly really is some unexplained creature? And if so, why was its appearance perfectly timed with the explosion? Is this proof they're related, or was it just a bunch of debris and a few coincidences? What's your opinion? A video that bears unnerving similarity to that of the frozen bird clip this was taken back in September 2019. Posted to Facebook by Morgan Lyons, she supposedly stumbled upon this crowd of seemingly frozen people. This is definitely weird enough, but even stranger, there'd been nobody there 10 minutes earlier. What the fuck is happening? Gotta go. Get me out. Now, this is certainly mysterious, but could there be a simple explanation? According to some comments, the group is a class from Dr. Joe Dispenser's meditation retreat, in which participants stand completely still in order to become fully immersed in the experience. However, others remain skeptical of this and question why they would freeze in such uncomfortable positions, as well as why some members are stood nowhere near each other. Additionally, viewers state that they couldn't all stand still without at least some instance of movement. So, if the people aren't from the meditation retreat, could it perhaps be an elaborate prank? Or as a few far-out theories postulate, further evidence of the simulation hypothesis? Uh-uh, gotta go. Get me out. Earlier this year, the city of Bryan, Texas was rocked by a horde of banshee-like screams, and although officials blend a pressure release valve, many residents are convinced of an otherworldly explanation. One of these is Daniel Robb, who was one of the first to record the screams. According to Robb, they apparently started around 8.30, in the midst of an unusually powerful thunderstorm, and continued for an hour. There's a sound screaming, like a, it's like a... It's like a scream. It's so freaking loud, and it's coming from up in the air, like up there. It's been going on now. What is that?
I swear I saw like this thing when the lightning was flashing a second ago. What the fuck? As heard, the screams come in fairly regular intervals, with an odd mixture of vibration sounds and shrieks. Most inexplicably, they seem to be extremely loud, and yet somehow far in the distance. That is so loud and so, like, eerie. It's like a banshee, blood-curdling scream. Ooh. There it is again. What is that? Fortunately, however, resident Rusty Apolida was able to get a much more close-up recording. Unfortunately, his video only makes the screams that much more creepy. Curiously, the screams seem to end with an animalistic cry, while around the same time, there are a series of mysterious blue flashes. Eerily, these screams sound like they're coming from something alive, and not an object as others speculated. So what was responsible? For now we don't know but the answer probably lies in Rob's other two videos. Interestingly, the earlier clip shows the Air Force responding to an unidentified object, in the exact same location where he later captured the screams. Another one. Meanwhile, in the latter piece of footage, it looks as if Rob potentially captured said object. It's coming from up there. See that thing in the sky? Flashes? What was this UFO? A weather modification device as has been suggested? Or is there a more darker outlook?